She might have finally quit, but Nadine Dorries won't be going quietly. After a vitriolic resignation letter released last night, today she seemed determined to take the Prime Minister down with her. Can the Tories win the next election with Rishi Sunak as leader? Um, I have to say my answer to that question is no. I don't think so. I think it's very, very unlikely. And would you vote for Rishi Sunak's Conservatives at the oh, next no, election? Oh. You're asking me a question I don't want to answer. One of the last Boris Johnson loyalists, this all began when she accused Rishi Sunak of blocking her peerage. But dragging out her exit has angered many of her former colleagues. She has her view. She's uh, written a personal letter to the Prime Minister. Um, she's entitled to that view. But, uh, you know, the uh, I think people are kind of tired of raking over the coals of the Boris Johnson government. We need to get on and uh, govern this uh, country properly and, uh, you know, uh, make people feel that progress before the next election. But they can't move on just yet, because there's a by-election on the horizon in her mid-Bedfordshire constituency. A leafy Tory stronghold with a 24,000 majority. But given the local frustration and the national polls, could another Conservative defeat be looming? What's happening here in mid-Bedfordshire really encapsulates the challenge that Rishi Sunak and the Conservatives are facing up and down the country. They want to move on from the chaotic legacy of previous administrations, but they're being forced to deal with the aftermath again and again. With many voters saying it's time for change, even in a Tory stronghold like this one. But which opposition party will capitalise, with both throwing everything at it? It's Labour that's best placed to win here. Obviously, recent elections also have shown that it's only Labour that's an opposition party that can overturn that huge Conservative majority here. Just down the road, the Liberal Democrats are just as bullish. There's no deals, no pacts, but I would point people to other places where there were no deals, no pacts, and we won. So places like Tiverton and Honiton or North Shropshire, where we overturned similar size majorities, record-breaking uh, by-election wins, and we came through and we absolutely romped it. We intend to do the exact same here. And voters here, though many say they're relieved that the contest is happening, are not sure who is best placed to unseat the Conservatives. Can I ask... Who you might vote for? Uh, probably won't be Conservatives. I have no idea, honestly. But I think it's a good shit she's gone. Yeah. And hopefully there's some healthy competition. I haven't a clue. Things are so up in the air. Yeah. I mean, over the years you'd have said Conservative, but I really don't know at the moment. For the Prime Minister, relief at the departure of one of his most vocal critics will be turning to apprehension about another by-election and frustration that the past is still hanging over his future in number 10. Liz Bates, Sky News, Mid-Bedfordshire.